Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy. I'm explicit with another video. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day today. Now, today, guys, we are very, very excited to be here because season three is right around the corner. And Trey, our control and Tone, all these people are basically just releasing the roadmaps and releasing everything we have to look forward to during season three, of course. And, you know, hey, we're here to cover it for you guys. So, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you drop that like. If you also do enjoy the content overall and you guys aren't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, make sure you guys drop that sub all right click that red subscribe button man and uh yeah we're gonna get into it i don't want to you know hold you guys up too much though let me know in the comment section down below what are you guys most excited for in season three after watching the video or you know midway through the video whenever something catches your eye man let me know in the comment section down below like hey i'm excited for this or that let me know all right guys um but yeah we're gonna go into it we're gonna look at it and uh you know we're going to basically look at some comments as well etc etc um very 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 excited so as you guys see here, by the way, uh, I am blocking a little bit of the stuff on the right. Don't worry. I'll tell you guys what, you know, what it is and all that. Um, but yeah, let's first off. Okay. We're going to go from the left top to, to the bottom right. Okay. So let's get right into it, man. I'm very, very excited. As you guys can see, we got the picture right here. It says a new era of the fight or in the fight begins April 22nd. Now it actually comes out April 21st at midnight, meaning the 20th going to the 21st. Warzone is the 21st going to the 22nd. So I just want to clarify that real quick because, you know, once again, Charlie Intel did post about that as well a little bit later on after they made this initial tweet. So I just want to, you know, cover that off, you know, off the bat, basically off the rip. So right into it. New multiply, uh, multiplier. Nice. <laughs> new multiplayer maps, man. We got what seems to be Yamantau um, is what I really want to try to call it, I guess. Um, if you guys can see my bad, I unclicked out of the picture. It kind of looks to be like a summit map, but not a summit map. It does seem to be in obviously well Russia or one of those snowy areas. Um, and honestly, it looks very cool. Uh, I did see another, you know, other couple of pictures. If we can find it on screen, we'll put it on screen for you guys right now for a split second. Um, but yeah, honestly, it looks like a very, very cool map, man very 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 excited obviously that map does come out right when the season comes out as well some of these maps and some of these weapons remember guys will come out later on in the season not right you know when it comes out as you know it's always been ever since the first season so keep that in mind guys now we also have diesel 6v6 and 2v2 i think that's the first time we've ever had a 6v6 map be a 2v2 map as well i believe i, I don't recall either way um 6v6 on diesel it looks like a really cool map as well obviously all we can see is a gas station with a couple cars parked outside of it but hey from what we can see man it does look like a pretty nice map seems like it's maybe in nevada you know one, one of those arizona desert areas um so very excited for that as well diesel looks like a pretty promising map as well something i do want to point out by the way which you guys will see here very very shortly is that we actually got four brand new maps man we haven't had that in cold war ever so i mean hey big w's for that Treyarch. thank you man thank you you know we got sick and tired of just having one or two, two maps new every single day thank you Treyarch. all right thank you anyway so we got yamantau and diesel two brand new 6v6 maps coming but we do not stop there, ladies and gentlemen. The classic standoff, ladies and gentlemen, 6v6. Now, keep in mind, once again, this is in season, which basically means anything that, you know, says in season right here basically means like midway, like mid-season mid update, basically. That's all that, you know, in season means. It doesn't mean, you know, it's going to come out right away. So we do have to, you know, sadly wait for standoff. But hey, all that means that people are going to get more and more hype for it. So I guess it's a good thing, you know. Um, but yeah, standoff 6v6 guys. If you guys ever played Black Ops 2, man, hey yo, standoff is a Call of Duty classic to say the least. Banger map for SD, banger map for hardpoint, banger map for domination, banger map for basically any game where you could literally play prop hunt on this shit, and it would be one of the best maps in the game. So very excited to see how you know standoff plays with skill base. Obviously, it's gonna play a little bit different since you know boxes and you know top uh church etc it's gonna be a little bit hectic or uh, grandma's house my bad it's gonna get a little bit hectic um but you know hey we'll see we'll see how it plays of course once again guys if you guys want to see all these maps being played all these dlc weapons being used drop a sub all right i almost like started right there drop a sub we will be covering everything so now 
our fourth map man duga all right it's a multi-team in season map once again duga basically uh seems to be a multi-team in an outbreak region of map um obviously outbreak you know the zombies game mode um duga look obviously it's the bigger map right so we got three small maps and one big map which is fine man like like i said we used to get one or two now we got three which is great uh but yeah duga seems to be that fire team map that multi-team map that you know outbreak map um and hey yo it looks it looks pretty freaking pretty awesome if you ask me man looks pretty awesome i mean you can't really you know see too much about it we don't know where it's located etc but hey a bunch of trees and an artillery gun that's really all we can you know really base it off of um but hey you know not as exciting as all the other three maps but still more content so i'll take it now if you head over here to the left all right guys if you head over here to the left we got sticks and stones guys all right six and stones once again a classic from bo1 bo2 etc um it's a party game for those of the uh for those of you guys that don't know um, where basically you can only use a crossbow, a ballistic knife, and tomahawk to humiliate. Whenever you do get a kill with a tomahawk, you set the enemy player's score that you just killed all the way down to zero. So, uh, yeah, very, very entertaining game mode, of course. One of those game modes that you just kind of hop on with a couple of friends, a couple of buddies after work, after school, etc. And you just kind of have a blast. You don't care about, you know, trying your guts off, etc., etc. You just have a really, really good time. So, I'm very excited for that. Um, and then, of course, no move to, uh, new, another you know game mode for MP is going to be the multi-team elimination end season as well. Keep in mind, the Six and Stones does come out right away. Uh, multi-team elimination does not, however. And basically, I already also, once again, read a description of basically what this game mode is. It seems to be, at least to me, man, it seems to be like a little mini battle royale on fire team maps, which if you guys don't know, uh, fire team maps look a lot like blackout uh you know the blackout map you used to look back uh in you know bo4 so i'm very excited because a lot of people are kind of tweeting out you know blackout 2.0 etc etc we'll try to put a couple examples of that once again as well on the screen but uh yeah man blackout 2.0 i'm freaking excited it's basically going to be like a little war zone match inside of all the fire team maps like duga um you know galova etc so i'm very very excited let me know what you guys think about that i think that's going to be one of the coolest slash funnest game modes that they've added and uh yeah i'm very excited to play it now new score streak we did not sadly get the k9 um but we did get the straight run i hope we get the k9 season four one can only wish man one can only hope but yeah new score streak straight front let me know what you guys think about it once again um we don't know exactly how it's gonna work i imagine it's gonna basically just gonna drop a bunch of bombs on the map i imagine um so kind of like a rolling thunder from black ops one is kind of what i have this you know imagined in my head and engraved in my head uh to look be as so yeah very very excited now uh warzone if you, for those you know of you that do like warzone we're just gonna go over it real quick we're not here for warzone you know people that come for cold war but there is a new warzone event called hunt for adler and a new warzone map update supposedly um so yeah that's it for warzone right there um now out zombies all right so that that's everything you know um multiplayer let's go into zombies and then we'll cover the weapons and the operators as well for zombies we got of course the new outbreak duja we got a new field upgrade toxic growth looks pretty freaking cool to me uh new outbreak vehicles cargo truck and the fav the dune buggy and new outbreak intel all right guys that's everything we got for zombies and outbreak sadly no new zombies map etc nothing like that man kind of does suck a little bit no cap for the zombies community i really am sorry for you guys but hey at least you do get a new outbreak map which i guess will keep you busy till the new season or mid-season update if they give us a surprise i don't know man uh we'll, we'll have to see anyways um the cargo truck fav and you know intel once again uh this is a very very interesting part and like i said i know that you know my 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 face cam is blocking a little bit of it i'll let you guys know what it is so main story here man the gun that everybody is now waiting for and everybody is the most 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 excited for man ppsh is back man ppsh is back you guys know 
If you guys have played Call of Duty, this gun is an absolute shredder of an SMG, guys. It's been in games like World War at War, BO3, World War II. It's been in, in a lot of different Call of Duties, and now it's in Black Ops Cold War. Very freaking excited. Let me know if you guys are excited for this weapon, as excited as I am. I love my SMGs. You guys can bet your bottom dollar that I am going to be uploading a class setup for this weapon ASAP. I'm talking about as soon as possible. We're going to be dropping a class setup for this gun ASAP on the channel. So let me know if you guys want to uh, want to see that in the comments. All right, guys, let me know, man. Anyways, now for the second gun, which will be in season as I click off my bad once again. Second gun, which will be in season, is going to be called the Carve Point Two. All right, it seems to be like an AUG with a weird. I don't even know what is on the bottom of that weapon, dude. Um, right here as I'm you know scrolling over it. I don't even know what that is. Like I said, it looks kind of like an AUG. It looks kind of like an M8. We'll see. Obviously, it is a tactical rifle for those of you guys that don't know. A lot of people are saying that it's going to be like the G11. I really am hoping that it, it is a G11. Um, it would be really cool um, if, you know, it, it kind of was like it, at least in the slightest. It doesn't really look like it too much. Kind of does in the, in the stock and all that. But, hey, the G11 was a great, great AR. Uh, that you had to be level 55 in Black Ops 1 to unlock. And, uh, hey, I wouldn't mind it, you know, if it came back. I really wouldn't mind it, man. Um, but, yeah, Tactical Rifle and New SMG so far. We have covered those, too. Now, on to the third different weapon type, guys. The Swiss K31. Uh, basically, it looks like a Car 98. Um, to me, at least. I don't know. Might not be. But it's called the Swiss K31. It's sniper rifle. Um, obviously, once again, it's wooden and all that. Pretty old uh, sniper rifle, if you ask me. Um, and yeah, like I said, it looks like the car 98. I'm pretty sure it's not the car 98 for those of you guys that are probably like, dude, it's a car 31. It says right there. Look, I'm not a gun expert. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, looks like the car 98 probably because it's like it's little brother or some shit, right? Car 31. I don't know. But yeah, new sniper. So if you guys snipe a lot and you guys are snipers and, you know, part of the sniping community, you guys are definitely happy for that, right? Um, so yeah, now that we got the new sniper as well, we covered that. Don't really have too many thoughts on that because, of course, we don't know. I imagine it's going to be a bolt action. I imagine it's not going to be fully auto or semi-auto, you know what I mean? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Uh, we don't know too much on that yet, but we do know about the AM63. Now, guys, this AM63, if you guys do not know, once again, it is in season. So basically, we're getting the sniper and the PPSH right when the season drops. Those are the two guns we're getting. Uh, every other gun that we're about to cover now, and melee weapon is going to be in season, which means mid-season update. Okay. Um. So the uh, the AM63, man. M63, we know it's a fully auto, uh, fully auto pistol coming, you know, within Cold War season three, and uh, honestly, very excited. A lot of people thought it was going to be the Cat 45. I kind of was, you know, hoping it was going to be the Cat 45. Sadly, that's not the case. But hey, it's still a really, really awesome looking gun. It looks like a shredder. Honestly, it looks like the Milano a little bit. It looks like a mini Uzi, honestly. So, I mean, this look, th this thing looks lethal. I can only imagine how overpowered it's going to be when when it drops as a, like a secondary running on Nuketown, etc. Um, so I'm very, very excited for that as well, guys. I'm very, very excited. So now the ballistic knife, guys. We got that ballistic knife, guys. All right. It's one of the things that's being covered by my face cam. Um, but yeah, you know, once again, we will try to find a picture and put it, you know, in the video right now for you guys. The ballistic knife, anyways. Um, yeah. War zone in season. It's coming to Cold War as well, I believe, of course. Uh, might not be, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, the ballistic knife, fan favorite. Literally, everybody loves it. If you guys don't know, basically, you know, it, you can shoot the blade from the knife. Um, it's been in basically almost every single Call of Duty game. Uh, well, Treyarch game, that is. I think it has been in every single Treyarch game. So, uh, yeah, that was a given that it was coming to Cold War eventually. Very, very excited for the ballistic knife. One of the favorite, uh, you know, melee weapons out there, of course. And now for the second melee weapon in the last one, right? Uh, the baseball bat. Once again, face cam covers it. We will post a picture on screen now. Uh, the baseball bat. Hey, once again, in season, mid season update. Uh, I mean, nothing much here to say about the baseball bat. Uh, that leads us to the new operators. Um, and, uh, of course, you know, the procedure levels, which we have not covered yet. Um, new operators, man. We got Knight in season. We got Wraith. We got Captain Price. And we got Antonov in season as well. So, Wraith and Captain Price are coming out right away, of course, while we have to wait for Knight and Antonov. Um, I mean, hey, look, man, they look pretty cool. Obviously, we can see Wraith right here. Uh, this chick honestly looks freaking badass. 
um I can't wait to unlock her as, uh, as an operator, to be honest. I'm not really much of a cosmetic type of guy, but hey, she looks freaking dope. So definitely gonna be using her. Now we got the new procedure levels right here. If you guys can see them, I'm sure you guys can. If you guys can't, hey, once again, we'll put them on screen for you guys. We got what appears to be 12th, 13th, 14th, and a 15th prestige. I think, honestly, 15th procedure looks the best and uh, 13th as well. Let me know what you guys think, but hey, looks pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to look closer here. I mean eh, 14th looks really similar to I think it was third or one of those procedures we've had already um, So, you know, it looks kind of similar, but hey, it doesn't look bad um, You know it doesn't look too bad at all. Anyways, let's go right into the comments uh, We got that also on the bottom right right here Let me just go back into it, it does say we're gonna have some limited time modes rewards and mo and more uh, my bad for the midseason event so uh, very excited for that for sure. So let's go right into some comments here, some replies on Twitter. Um, we're probably gonna have to blur some of these out because I can only imagine what some people are saying. But uh, yeah, anyways, PPSH God is back at nonstop XBL. Carnage AK says, all right, all right. Uh, Carnage Apollo as well says, PPSH has me abnormally excited. You know, we got another person saying, you know, how it's gonna be, how OP is gonna be in Warzone and in Cold War, sheesh. You are absolutely correct, my friend. I will like that freaking reply because he is absolutely correct, man. Um, you know, it's gonna be a shredder. Every time the PBSH comes out, it, it, it's it, it's just the goat gun, basically. Um, now, John Sparrows, if you guys don't want Sparrows, big shout out to the homie Sparrows over on Twitch and YouTube. He replied with a meme of formal. Um, basically, just, you know, like, hey, he's excited, man. Like, he's like, mm, you know what I'm saying? He's excited. Uh, local says standoff is good enough for me to reinstall this game now. That is a big Big freaking like reply right there. We're glad that you're coming back locals You're an awesome freaking creator, bro, and we are glad that you're coming back But yeah, man, yo, a lot of these people are creators. I mean as expected creators are on top of everything Um, so yeah uh, okay, well, we got somebody saying Apex Legends see, uh, Season 9 is coming soon. It's better. Okay. Um, that's weird. Uh, Standoff. Hey, a lot of people are excited for Standoff. We also got J God saying PPSH Fire. A hey, once again, very excited for the PPSH. I'm sure everybody is. Um, that Ballistic Knife, though, Dismo, you already know. It says Warzone. What's up with that? Let's actually read. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Ballistic Knife is coming to, a, to Cold War or not, but hey, this is a World War II weapon. Yes, freaking sir. PPSH is a World War II weapon. It's kind of out of date, but hey, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, another sniper. Like I said, Obey, of course, they're going to love the new sniper. New Warzone map. Sandoff comes back. PPSH and a new sniper. I'm wet. And A, once again, Carnage, Sean J there with a wet, <laughs> wet uh, gif right there. Hey, honestly, man, that's going to cover it all, though. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video. Let me know if you guys want me to do stuff like this more often where we're just kind of looking at the PC screen, reading some comments, going over everything. Hopefully, I didn't bore you guys. Hopefully, it was, uh, you know, kind of short. I know it was a little bit uh, long video, but hopefully it was short enough to kind of, you know, get a good understanding of everything coming with in Season 3. See you guys in the next video. Much fucking love. Thank you guys all for coming through. See you guys in the next one.